guys and welcome to today's YouTube video. Now this is a video I've actually been filming over the last couple of months. I shot it a while back and sharing it with you guys has taken a little bit of time because there were other videos I wanted to share with you guys on priority like all my vlogs and everything. Um, but I do want to make this intro very long because the timestamp may have told you already that the video is a slightly long one and I want you to try and watch this video all the way to the end please. Um, I have basically put together a few different nighttime skincare regimes for you. The idea behind doing this is simple. It's because I wanted to show you guys the variety in the products that I use. This is a one-of-a-kind new video that I'm putting forward which is like five different types of uh, detailed routines. If you want to see a similar format in different routines or with different products, let me know down below in the comments. Please do make sure to watch the video all the way till the end because I think it might be something that's really interesting to give you an insight as to the kind of products I tend to use on an everyday basis. I'm not going to make this intro any longer and I'm going to let you guys roll right into the video from here. Okay, so welcome to this makeshift shoot situation we're going to be doing for this week. Um, tonight, since it's the first night of us doing this, I'm going to start out with first taking my false lashes off. Um, now I do have some go-to products but you know what, I've been really wanting to try a couple of new ones. So the first one I have over here is this Declayer Aroma Cleanse. It is the Bi-Face Caring Cleanser and Makeup Remover and it has floral waters as well as botanical oils. This is something I recently got my hands on and I have been meaning to try for a while. I'm going to quickly take some cotton pads that I have, pour it on the cotton pads. And I'm just going to try and wipe my face and see how good it might be with full face makeup. Okay, that was pretty good. That was one swipe right in front of you guys and a lot of product came out. Today I did have a little extra product on me in fact because I shot two different videos and I needed to redo my makeup a couple of times because my eyes started watering. So a little extra concealer was definitely there, but this is doing a pretty good job. Wow, okay. That's pretty impressive. Now you guys know I'm big on double cleansing, so I'm going to put this Deathly Or product away. And I'm pulling out some micellar water. I'm using this simple micellar water. This is a product I'm generally uh, pretty familiar with. I have been using it over the past couple of weeks. It is a really, really nice product because I've used it on full face makeup as well as otherwise. And see, even though I thought my makeup was clean, it really does go really nice and deep in making sure there are no remnants as such. Step 3 for me is always usually toner. The toner I'm going with today is this Face Shop White Seed Toner. It is something I reach out for almost every single night these days. It is on my top shelf over here so I'm not reaching down below. There are a few toners that you will see in my collection that I reach out for pretty often. And this one is currently at the top of the rotations list. Now I'm just gently going over my face, avoiding going too close to the eye really. But even if you do, this one is pretty mild, so it's okay. Like With certain ones, you can't do that. I wouldn't recommend that. But uh, this one is pretty mild. I still make it a point not to go too close to the eyes though. Now what I'm going to do next actually is a little bit different. Typically, what I tend to do after toner is I go into my serums and my under eye creams. Tonight, I'm going to skip that because I want a sheet mask instead. I feel like sheet masking tonight mainly because like I said, I had a little extra makeup going on over here. There's no great light over here. So please deal with the fact that the lighting in the bathroom is not going to be very great. I'll try and work on that for the coming nights. I have this weird mosquito bite popping out on my face. Um, what I'm going to do tonight is use the Nykaa sheet mask instead. I have been using these sheet masks very often. I ran out of my PR kit a while ago but I went ahead and bought like a whole lot. The one I have over here is the Unmask with Gooseberry Papaya. This is great for nourished to brighten skin. So tonight what I'm going to do is just put this mask on and then I won't add any other layer on it. Um, I'm just going to let this do its job. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and let this do its job, let it stay on my face and once it's dried up in the next 15-20 minutes, I'm just gonna take it off and go to sleep. You will see me doing things like serum and under eye cream and 
um, all of that. But tonight it's just gonna be the mask. I think I have messed up this mask in my hand by turning and twisting it too much. It's time to pop the mask on. Hi guys, it is night number two of taking you through a week in my makeup removal steps products. Um, today I'm just going to stick to some of my favorite products, things that I gravitate towards very very naturally. Um, the first product that I have over here is a lovely balm. This is the chamomile balm, cleansing balm from the body shop. This is actually a product that some of you recommended to me. So first of all, thank you for recommending this to me. It's a great product. It works really well for all skin types and uh, specifically well if you have dry skin like mine i'm beginning to develop some really weird oily patches around my nose um, around my nose area over here and around my laugh lines which i think has been coming and going over the past couple of months and i'm hoping it's just a hormone or just a one-off thing just look at how much it melts it just melts all the makeup in wait i forgot to take my lashes off oh my god completely forgot to take my lashes off um okay they're off and i'm just going in and like literally ever so gently rubbing all parts of my face you can see how nicely it blends all blends melts all the makeup out see this this is all the product now not on the brow versus it on the brow so amazing honestly um you can always sort of just leave this on again i look completely weird so let's ignore that for a second you can either let this stay on your face for like five minutes to melt it further or if you're going to do a double cleanse like me you can continue your process as usual i'm going to be doing a double cleanse but uh, today just to keep it um, well combined with the combination of a cleansing balm one sec i need to go wash my hands okay so if you're going to keep a nice product that is in combination with this i wouldn't suggest you use a moisturizer you could go in with my cellar water next which is one really really nice option uh i'm gonna go ahead and take the simple cleansing facial wipes they actually have two variants they have a cleansing facial wipes and they have a micellar water wipes the micellar water wipes are in the other room so i'm just gonna take this and this is sort of like a double cleanse so i'm automatically cleaning it out in a way where it's wiping the balm out while also sort of making it go over my skin and just doing like a thorough cleanse of things very gently you don't have to be harsh on it this is actually one of my current go-to combinations like that is a combination that i've been using very very often now last night when i used um the nika sheet mask after this step after toner after the step um it my skin was feeling really really great so i am tempted to do to do that but i want to make sure i show you guys all my different picks in general so i think i will go ahead and do that in the day tomorrow i'll probably mask in the day tomorrow i'm going to go ahead and use some toner now but you can see how much product got picked up over here by the wipe and this is just one wipe i didn't even swap wipes what i'm going to do next is pull out my cotton pads okay so the toner i used yesterday was the white seed toner so i think i'm going to try and make sure i give you guys different product options through the days i'm using the clinique toner tonight now i love the clinique toner but i'm going to tell you a little in advance it is pretty strong and there is like a proper like it has a pretty strong fragrance i know it's not added fragrance it's just how the product is um but it's pretty strong and i would not recommend you go near your eyes at all with this particular uh toner because it will sort of sting your eyes a little bit but it does a fab job just go all over your face except for near your eyes Okay for the last two steps I've got the mango seed range over here which is working really well for me. Um the product in my hand right now is the silk moisturizing eye cream. Just take a little bit literally like more than enough and apply it near your eyes. You can also apply it on your eyelid. That's totally fine. 
personally when i'm using like any eye cream i also use the same cream around my mouth area you guys know the reason behind this is because this similar kind of green goes around your lip area your mouth the way it does on your under eyes so i like to go and use my product there as well um next i am going to use from the same range from the mango seed face shop range i've got the volume butter for face here you go it's what it looks like and just take a little bit and go all over my face they also have a really nice emulsion product maybe i'll use that tomorrow let's see I don't have like seven different toners um, that I'm currently using. I'm not going to keep opening up new ones as such. I'm going to show you the ones that I'm currently using through the cycle of products that is here in my bathroom with me on a regular basis. Of course, I have a few more that I'm waiting to try, but what I'm showing you are my top picks. Um, and there you go. My routine for the night is done. My face is going to be left feeling. nice and hydrated i never go to bed leaving my products out i always make sure all the lids come back on and all the products go into place otherwise it becomes super super messy i have one section here on top like on my platform level and then i have two shelves down below in my bathroom um where i keep the products so i stock them up basic where basis where i want what if you guys want me to do like a bathroom tour or how i organize my bathroom let me know in the comments Okay, I'm off to sleep. Good night, you guys. See you tomorrow. Hi guys, day three of me, night three of me taking my makeup off on camera and showing you guys what I'm doing. Um, tonight I've got one of my favorite cleansers. It's really nice and gentle, but also really, really nicely takes my makeup off. It's the Plum Aloe Cleanser. It's super moisturizing. I'm at the end of it right now, literally. It's super moisturizing, very hydrating. Then I'm taking the Face Shop Rice Water. It's a really nice but mild cleanser, which is why I prefer to use it as a step two instead of a step one. Today's the use some toner. I've got the Oriflame Optimals Even Out Clarifying Toner over here. This is one of my favorite toners. Again, I think I'm on the second half of the bottle, and you'll see that with a toner like this, that really goes into your pores and makes sure everything is out and clean. There's still some product that's on it. Actually, that's not some product. That's quite a bit of product. So I make sure I go over my full face with my toner. With this particular toner, you can go a little around your eyes also. Of course, it won't be harsh, but you can go a little bit. After the toner, I've got the Clinique Smart Repair over here, which is a really nice serum, especially to use around your eyes. So I'm taking just one tiny little pump of it and going around my eye area. And as usual, a little around my mouth. And to finish things off for my nighttime routine, I'm taking a little bit of the mango seed volume face for butter, which I'm currently really, really loving, and leaving it on my face. And I'm done. End of the nighttime routine. See you tomorrow. Hi guys. Okay, so I have lost track of what night this is. I think it's night four. Um, we just crossed hundred k on YouTube. I think about ten minutes ago. I literally did not realize that we crossed ten. Uh, that we crossed hundred k. Can you believe it? I was tracking it all the way till we were twenty subscribers short, and then I came into the room. I'm using a brand new gimbal to shoot with. I put up a story today that said my new toy is here. I'll quickly insert it here for you guys to see. If you guys are following me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. I'm really excited to use this new device because I'm going to be vlogging on the next few travels and weekends and all of that. Um, coming back to what I'm supposed to be doing right now, taking my makeup off. Um, 
I actually wanted to get a couple of new products into the bathroom tonight, but I really haven't because there's been so much happening today. So I'm just gonna go and use a couple of the existing products. Look at me, I was using the cotton pad thing upside down, really. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use some of the products I use on a regular basis. I've got the rice water over here. Uh, this is the Face Shop Rice Water Bright. Sorry, I am blanking out because I'm just that excited that we crossed the 100k. Don't understand how this happened. I'm so, so grateful. You have no idea. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my makeup off. I'm so excited right now. Like, I'm blanking out. I know I'm talking and I'm thinking things that I'm not saying out loud. But I am just so, so excited because I have a whole bunch of ideas that I want to work on, that I want to guys, that I want to guys. See what I mean? Like my brain is just, it's it's on a different uh, tangent right now. Um, I've just got a lot of ideas that I really want to share with you guys. I want to share so many content pegs with you guys. I have so many ideas on what to shoot. Um, I want to continue to do collabs. One collab went up in Jan. One collab so far has gone up in Feb. Um, I'm talking to a few other YouTubers and content creators who might be interested in um, working on collabs together. The thing about being in this space is that when you're collaborating with someone, you have to make sure. What am I doing? Ulta ki uthar you. Um, you have to be able to collaborate with someone who is um, not just in the same space like because we're all youtubers I mean like we have to collaborate with someone who is um, also on the same wavelength about how they look at content how they create their content what they think of their content what they think of my content what I think of their content there are so many factors to be considered because I don't want to collaborate with someone just for the sake of it that would not make sense um yeah so that's what's happening right now i promise you i go to sleep with like a little notepad next to me every night because sometimes i think of random ideas just before i go to sleep or when i wake up or sometimes i wake up with an idea it's really strange i know it sounds completely absurd um but it's happening right now and i'm just very excited that i'm in this phase um of content right now and I get to share it with you guys. I'm so immensely grateful. Um, I moved on from the Face Shop Rice Water Bright to the Declior Aroma Cleanse. It's this bottle over here, which is really, really good um, to clean up completely. So I'm basically going from like a watery based product to something that has a little bit more um, of an oily texture. I try to use two different cleansers that come from different textures or come from different feels. Just gonna go ahead and take this off. For the toner tonight, I'm just gonna go in and use the white seed toner from the face shop. It's really, really good. This is what the product looks like. This is some branding for you to screenshot. I will add links to everything down below, of course. Um, I'm just like really excited right now. Please deal with it. Stay with it. Be excited with it. Okay, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I'm gonna cheat a little bit tonight because I am just that, like that excited. I'm gonna go from um, toner straight to some emulsion and I'm gonna leave it there tonight. I'm using the mango seed emulsion which is a really really great product. It seeps into my skin and moisturizes it so well. Um, I'm really picky about that final product I leave on my skin. So even if I'm cheating, like right now, I'm not using any under eye cream and serum and all tonight. But uh, I will still always make sure that this last product that I'm leaving on my face is something that has a lot of hydration. Okay, now that I'm done with this, I need to go wash my hands. And uh, you know what? I really want to go outside and just meet Jerry and celebrate and go on stories with you guys. Okay, see you guys tomorrow night, I think. Hi guys, so even though I don't have any makeup on my face today, I will still be cleaning my makeup. I think this is the first of these five nights I've taken you through. Um, tonight is most likely going to be the last of the series. I like to make sure my skin is nice and fresh, even if there's no makeup on it. I've had a no makeup weekend. 
um, but I will still make sure I go ahead and clean my face every night irrespective. I'm using the Declare Cleaner over here. I'm just going to go over my entire face in general. I won't double cleanse tonight because there wasn't any makeup to double cleanse. This is just for um, you know the dirt and the dust and the pollution that we face. Um, but as you can see, my cotton pad is a little bit dirty and now I dropped it. I mean it's bound to happen and I just trashed it. It's bound to happen just a little bit even without makeup because we live in these urban cities where there's so much happening on a regular basis looking for my toner right now oh i already put it out sorry i have the optimals oriflame toner over here and um, i always make sure to use one cleanser and toner at least even on a no makeup face what this does for me is just make sure my skin is squeaky clean at all times more so since you might know that i don't really wash my face often i wash my face like once a week maybe that also is maybe um actually no once a week i'll end up washing my face just to make sure there's nothing in my in my skin because of how much makeup i wear on a regular basis there you go skin is squeaky clean and i'm gonna trash this also really quickly um tonight i won't be putting a moisturizer on my face instead i'm gonna be using um, the chia seed cooling gel from the face shop this is a product i've grown to like very much it moisturizes but more so it just really has a nice hydrating finish it's not cream based so it's not an intense moisturizer but uh, at the same time it just leaves a really nice cooling gel like effect um, I would probably put this in the category not at par with but in the category of the Clinique Moisture Surge it's just really nice to have your skin feel uh, cool and nice and especially through the summer this is something you can totally prep your skin with as well um, done for the night okay I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it was a little bit of a detailed one I hope you'll enjoy it don't forget to hit the like button to the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel and keep coming back for more videos with the notification bell on so that you get the alerts every time my new videos go up I love you guys so much I'll see you in the next one bye